it's early May and there's lots of weeds flowering in our lawns right now. Everything from dandelions to henbit to uh, common chickweed. And before we rush out and make applications, we have to understand the life cycle of these weeds. And uh, with a dandelion, it's a perennial. And you can tell if you look at the rootstock, it has a pretty substantial rootstock. And we'll probably focus in on that a little bit closer, but it has a very substantial rootstock. And uh, it's hard for the herbicides applied now to translocate down through that dandelion. You might get a little bit of control, but not very good control. And so it's much better to control weeds like this in the fall. Uh, the herbicides translocate better. Plus, when you apply herbicides in the fall, you don't have to worry about all the flowering trees and the, the tomatoes in the garden and all the off-site target. And so, better control weeds like this in the fall. Then we have other uh, annuals. These happen to be winter annuals that I'm working with right now. This is henbit and this is uh, common chickweed. And you can tell, you look at the, the roots on these guys and they are really spindly. They spend all of their energy going into seeds. And the same with the, the, the chickweed. And these guys, uh, they're nearing the end of their life cycle. They're flowering, they're nearing the end of the life cycle. And again, the immediate response would be spray a herbicide, try to control these. But in all honesty, they're near the end of their life cycle and it's not worth controlling them right now. And so with winter annuals, henbit, common chickweed, a number of other ones, Applications in the fall are a much better time to control them. These are uh, these have already germinated at that, that at that time, late September through late October, and applications made at that time of the year will also control these for entirely different reasons than this guy, because we really don't have to get down to a deep tap root. These are easily controlled in the fall because they're very small. And so, take home question, take home message: spray broadleaf herbicides in the fall sometime between September 15th and October 15th, preferably. Uh, it's, it's more effective on both perennials as well as winter annuals. It's safer to ornamentals, or uh, it's the non-target risks are a lot, a lot smaller and uh, much more effective. Can you apply now? Can professionals apply now and control these? Yes, but the far better time to control these is in the fall.